good morning welcome back to another video another vlog and you're joining me on quite a, a relaxed 30 minute morning run on my usual wednesday before work i'm trying to make my wednesday runs a bit more enjoyable because i'm going to stick to 30 minutes and then increase it over time but the minute i'm going to stick to 30 minutes on a wednesday now i've got up to that not really worried about heart rate focus on form a little bit and most of all just just enjoy it if it goes too high i will stop but yeah it's more of a get it done work on my form focus on foot placement focus on strides um and that's kind of it nothing too complicated just nice and easy to enjoy it so that ended up being 4k in exactly 30 minutes um heart rate was a bit high but i'm kind of going more of rp on a wednesday and then i'm going to go on heart rate on the saturday so it means that i've got a run to look forward to where i don't really have to care about anything and then my steady state run on steady state saturdays on the saturday where it's a bit longer i think i'm going to start aiming for a distance then as well right as i was going to say yesterday it's the day after i didn't manage to finish off the vlog because it got a little bit busy and i had to go to work um Wednesdays are my RP run day. So I go off the RP scale. So out of one and 10, I want to sit roughly at around six, seven. It's, it's still got to be easy, but it's kind of more of a skill because I've got to listen to my body and understand exactly where I can sit without pushing myself too hard. And then Saturdays are going to be a more longer run eventually. And then they're going to go off heart rate. So at the end of that run, I should look at all the statistics and it should say that my average heart rate was around 160. That's what we're aiming for anyway. Um, but it means that I can go out for longer without pushing my body too hard and I can stay stricter and, and stuff like that. Whereas Wednesday, it's going to stay at around 30 minutes. Eventually, I want that to be more of a threshold kind of run, um, which yesterday kind of was. So that was good. Uh, but yeah, that's the goal for the two runs of the week. I'm not looking to increase my runs just yet because I don't want to get injured. I get very injured sometimes with running and that's not what we want with a race in May and with my biggest goal this year to get back into more endurance. So that's where we're sitting at with the runs. Anyway, that brings me on to the whole point of this video and that is my weekly training split. So I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna go through it in as much detail as I can without being too boring and kind of explain what my goals are currently and what I'm aiming for throughout the entire year. So let's get onto that kind of stuff. What I will say before I get into this is this is completely individual to my current goals, my current situation and what days I can do certain things. So it works around my lifestyle and if you want to take inspiration from it, then great, do that. But everyone's in different situations. So this is how I'm currently, how I'm currently training, basically. So I'm not going to go into too much detail about this particular topic because I want to make an entire video on it in the future. But think of your training program as within a macro cycle. The macro cycle is the entire year of training and it's a bird's eye view of different blocks, which would be your meso cycles. So this, what I'm gonna go through is my current meso or meso cycle, however you wanna pronounce it. And it's gonna make up around four to eight weeks of different blocks within the macro cycle, if that makes sense. So I'm currently in the general physical preparedness phase, which I started probably two weeks ago when I started running. And that's gonna last now until spring. So we're gonna do the general physical preparedness phase up until around the 20th of March. Then we're gonna go into more specific training in the spring in order for me to peak when it comes to the Manchester 10K on the 22nd of May. That's the, the part, that's the, the main goal of things. So currently, I'm just trying to condition my body. I'm trying to build my aerobic capacity. I'm trying to get stronger. I'm trying to work on weaker areas where I get injured, do more mobility, make sure I do more stretching. And that's kind of what I'm aiming for currently. And then when it comes to closer to the race, I'll get more specific. I'll do more sprints. I'll do more threshold runs. I'll probably tone down a little bit in the gym and just do things just to keep me ticking over. Um, but yeah, that's the current situation that I'm in. If you've watched the previous two videos, you'll know that the first one, it was about what my goals are. So I set myself some running goals and I also set myself some strength goals in the gym. And then the video after that, it was like the turning point to my running. So. In terms of the strength goals, they're gonna be put on hold until probably around winter and the next few months up until probably September, my goal is endurance because like I said, it was a turning point on Saturday. I just fell back in love with running, set myself some new targets and there's a few different races that I wanna sign up for, which again, I'll go through in another video, but at the minute, the goal is to get stronger for running because that's my weak point with what I want to achieve. So 
right now it is i am balancing strength and endurance because we're in the general physical preparedness phase the gpp phase i want to get stronger i want to get fitter so i'm trying to combine those two things together before i get more specific so at the moment i'm trying to figure out what causes me more fatigue what to drop out of my sessions in order to do a long run on the saturday in order to do a threshold kind of run on a wednesday so for example i what my, one of my goals were deadlifts and i did deadlifts last week and it caused me quite a bit of fatigue for the run on Saturday, which was fine. I still did the run. But if I want to perform in running over the next few months, deadlifts probably aren't the best thing to do because it's causing my body too much fatigue. It might be different for you, but for me in particular, I just don't really feel comfortable doing things like deadlifts. And then on Monday, I did squats. And you'll probably know by now, I go on about it a lot. I have a few back problems and... My back's been aching a little bit, so I'm thinking of taking squats out and replacing it with something like split squats or goblet squats, just something that's gonna be more friendlier to my body in order for me to be better at running and make sure that I'm not gonna get injured in the gym when I'm trying to get stronger for running, if, if that makes sense. So a brief overview of what the training plan looks like for me is Monday, I'm doing lower body strength. Tuesday, I'm doing upper body strength. Wednesday is at the moment an RPE run. Thursday is rest, Friday is an upper body session, but something that's not gonna cause me too much fatigue. So it might be more body weight stuff like pull-ups, working on some core stuff and things like sled pushes, stuff like that. And then Friday is gonna be my longer run. So that is, that's the base of how I'm currently training. So just two runs a week, two strength sessions, and then something that's gonna assist everything like core. Like core is gonna help with the gym, but it's also gonna help with running. And it's not gonna cause me too much fatigue going into a longer run on the Saturday. So the aim with that is to peak at intensity earlier on in the week. And then as the week goes on, at the end of the week, I'll be peaking at volume. So for example, on the Saturday, I'll be doing more of a longer run, but it's not gonna be as intense. Whereas Monday, I'll be doing strength work, which is gonna be less volume. So I'll be doing less reps, but it'll be more intense. Um, and that just allows me to recover well for the run on the Saturday. I know now that from doing it for two weeks, I know that I can do a lower body session on the Monday, I could do an upper body session on the Tuesday, and I can still go out for a run on the Wednesday. It's not gonna cause me too much fatigue. Whereas when it comes to the Thursday at the moment, I'm completely fried. I wake up in the morning, and I'm just like, I'm like a zombie. So that's why the rest days on the Thursday. I would like to put more cross training within that on the Thursday, but at the moment I'm just not ready for that. So yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what causes me too much fatigue, what needs dropping, what works, what doesn't. And that's kind of the aim over the next few weeks before I get into more specific training, which are probably be more hill sprints, stuff like that. Just more things that are gonna benefit the 10K run in May. And that's as simple as it gets for the next four weeks. I'm not gonna be changing that until the four weeks after. So that's gonna be the split for the foreseeable future. Wednesdays are gonna to stick to 30 minute runs and then Saturdays every week, I'm gonna try and increase it a little bit whilst keeping in the, the lower heart rate zone. So the first week I did three, 3K, then the second week I did 4K and then this week I'm gonna do 5K. So depending on how the 5K goes, fingers crossed next week, I can aim for five and a half K or 6K. We'll see, or maybe just stick at 5K for this current training block. So. Like I said, working our training blocks. The next four weeks, we'll reassess things, we'll change things. I might take some things out. I might add some things in. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how I'm going to be training now, currently. <laughs> if I'm being honest, I don't actually think much is going to change in terms of the training split on the run up to, on the run up to, <laughs> on the lead up to the Manchester 10K because. I don't really have a goal for it. I'm just aiming to complete it. If I have to walk it, I will, I'll, I'll walk it. I just want to be able to say that I've done the Manchester 10K because I've wanted to do it for so long. If I get a PB, then great. But I would say that the entire year, this year, is more about being consistent with running and remaining injury free or as injury free as possible. I'm aware that I probably have some niggles and stuff like that. But if I can be a stronger runner, if I can be more of a consistent runner, if I can sign up for more races, if I can do more endurance events, which I've wanted to do for ages, then that's the goal. I would say that this year is probably more of an entire conditioning phase on the lead up to next year when I can start saying, right, I want to achieve this, I want to achieve that. Um, so yeah, it's just more about completing something rather than being good at something.
Anyway, it's been a very talking related video this week. So I'm going to end the video here because I don't want it to get too boring. And hopefully if you've made it to this point, you enjoyed it and you got something out of it. Um, if you did enjoy it, please give it a like. It really helps the channel. And I just really, really want to push this channel this year. If you're new, please subscribe. Or if you haven't done, please subscribe. And I shall see you in the next video. Thank you.